Today is December 13th, 2019, Friday, and I'm Elva. I'm Skyler. We're from the customer service team at Fat Quarter Shop. Kimberly, uh, she's doing really well. She had a minor surgery. She's recovering nicely. Um, she wanted to make sure that we started today by telling you guys that we are up to $7,195 for the Make-A-Wish. That is so amazing. Yes. Confetti cannon. Yes. Woo, cannons. <laughs> You guys are doing such an amazing job and we are blown away by your generosity and your help. So thank you so much. It's fantastic. We're gonna do some trunk shows today. It's very exciting. Yeah, we've got a lot to go through today. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome stuff. And what? you guys? Yeah, let me turn my mic on. If you guys have any questions throughout the live stream, please feel free to submit them and we will get to as many as we can at the end. Yep. Cool. So there is a coupon code for this. It's 20 blue which is 20% off the blue and white quilt uh, book from now through December 20th. Uh, once again, the coupon code is 20BLUE and that'll be in the link description down below as well. And this is a one-time use, not valid with other offers. Limited time offer while supplies last expires Friday, December 20th, 2019 at midnight. <laughs> so we're gonna show you guys some quilts from this book. They are so, so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like we're super excited. <clears throat> Oh, yep, okay. I don't know what the name is. So this is Country Ooh. Surprise. It's huge. Yeah, it is. Look at how gorgeous that is. Nancy. Nancy Mahoney did this one. Boy, those blues are so pretty. Y'all know me and my blue. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, here's the back. Excellent. Very nice. That quilting shows up so great on that fabric. That's cool. <laughs> to the Nines by Camille Ross Kelly. I love Camille's stuff. These nine patches are just adorable. So pretty. And there's the back. Hard to go wrong with polka dots too. Those are so cute. Oh, those are little hearts. Yeah, they're little hearts. Oh, hang on, let me zoom in on that. Those are really That's cute. Really cool. Yeah, hearts. Oh, this is like I'm buying the book to so I because I want this quilt. Antique Hunter Star Quilt Maker Unknown. This is so gorgeous. This one's got polka dots. This one's got polka dots? Yeah, on the back. <laughs> <laughs> on the front, it's little stars. Little That's stars cool. and little, like, swags. Very pretty. Yeah, I need that in my life. <laughs> Oh, this is the one with applique around it. It's so pretty. This is Bliss. Ooh. Debbie Roberts. Look at that applique. Oh, that's pretty. I think that might be a grunge. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Like the cookie one? Yeah, I think cookie it is. Dough. Yeah, cookie dough, maybe. Or, or vanilla or white paper. It's hard to tell them apart sometimes. <laughs> Timeless Sherry McConnell did this one. This one's cool. Ooh. This one is cool. You can hold it a little lower if you want. Oh. Perfect. Sorry, I'm used to the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little way up there. This one's cool. I don't, I don't have my readers on, so if I get close, I can't see anything. <laughs> it's almost like, is that a floral? Like a little four dot floral looking maybe, or plaid? Yeah. I can't see it well enough. With I'm polka dots too. Getting a little too old now. <laughs> this is the last one in the stack. Yes. Oh, blueberry crumb cake. I have to have this one in my life too. This one's huge. This one is really big. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. He's holding it up all the way and it's touching the ground still. It's a big one. It's gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, that flower is so background. cute. Oh, that's my. That goes really well. That is really pretty. Let me zoom in on that. Oh. Yeah, that goes really well. Oh, that is super nice. Oh, look, and the border is uh, pieced with different fabrics. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's really cute. Yeah. That I like that little touch of something like we're just a little bit different. It was very subtle. I like that. Mm -hmm. well, that's that one. Oh, yay. Moving on to the Cuddle Trunk Show. Uh, real quick, could you repeat the name of the book and who the quilts are from? The book is White and Blue Quilts. Yeah. And the quilts are from, let me pop this. Let's see. So Country Surprise was Nancy Mahoney. To the nines was Camille Ross Kelly. Bliss was Debbie Roberts. Uh -huh. Let's see, Antique Hunter Star was that one? Yeah, Antique Hunter Star was Jennifer Keltner. Timeless was by Sherry McConnell. And Blueberry Cum Cake was by Lisa Alexander. Excellent. Okay. Thanks, guys. And then Cynthia Fed was asking, is this an applique block? Book? Block? It's got it's got both. It's got some applique in it and just some that are just like straight up piecing. So it has a little of both. So it's a mixture. It's a mixture. And uh, Michael Lopez says, "Hey Skylar, it's your sister-in-law Macy. <laughs> Love you. Can't hey, wait Macy. to see you and Morgan for Christmas." Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that reminds me. I was supposed to tell Morgan hello and my future mother-in-law that's with us as well. Hello. Oh. So. This reminds me, I Shout totally out. forgot to tell my sister I was doing this today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, Brownie. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Now the cuddle trunk show. I'm excited because these are little and I can hold them up. Yay. <laughs> this is a soft pillow. Ooh. Yeah, it's all the cuddle. Leapfrog. So the perf... Picture Perfect Cuddle Kit Leapfrog is this one, and it's sewn by, or quilted by, ooh, I can't say that name. What is it set? Marianne Wells, sewn yeah. by Marianne Wells. Ooh. So Should I hold it the long way? Good, this is yeah, cool. Yeah, both ways are good. Also, you guys, these cuddle kits are so easy to make. So these are cool. Yeah. I made a couple last minute for Christmas last year and they were a big hit. Great for kids and stuff. They're so tactile. Like they're really nice for the mm -hmm. little ones to touch. Plus, who doesn't love tree frogs? Right. There you go. Take that. Thanks, Skyler. Yep. <laughs> I like the little dance move there. Oh, <laughs> you know me. This is how I live my life. <laughs> I'm always like. Sometimes I'll be in the grocery store dancing to whatever's playing on the radio and I'll look around and I'm just like, oh, I'm the only one. Oh, <laughs> I do that too. This one's cool. This is Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Marianne Wells. This is like a country Christmas looking pillow. Yeah. It looks like a Santa Claus hat right here. Oh, it does. That would be so cute. Oh, if you yeah. did red, white, yeah. and like maybe a green or something. Right? Or even like this. Cause it's yeah. Bad. Oh, that's cute that's too. Cool. Yeah. Let me zoom in on that red. Because that red, the cuddle comes like that. Ooh, hang on. So it's got like a paisley oh, print. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. It's not the solid one. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah. Some have like rosettes or like swirlies. Mm -hmm. So these are really cute. And the backs are always really nice. Sad. Cuddle, like, um, we have a customer who will do quilts with a cuddle back and she'll send me photos. It picks up the quilting so nicely mm -hmm. on the back. I like them a lot, a lot. A yeah, lot I can a sleep lot. on these pillows. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's, <comfy>. really, <laughs> it's a really nice pillow. If you hear Suck Eiler snoring later, you'll know why. It's a big, big pillow. <laughs> Yeah, and um, if this you guys have never... snow ear bambino. Oh, 
is is little elephants. Did I do it upside down? Yes. That's I'm right. an upside down. You're good. Um, if you guys have never worked time. with cuddle before, like it is not as intimidating as it seems. I promise. It's not. We do have a. Oh, for someone asking, is cuddle like minky? Yes, it cuddle and minky. Um, Cuddle's like the brand, uh, but yeah, it's like that minky type fabric. Um, but yeah, we have a whole playlist uh, that Teresa Coates, she came out and uh, filmed some cuddle videos for us and how to work with it. So if you guys want to make these, just follow along with those and they they are super helpful. And these, yes, you can also quilt on it. Yeah, really these soft. quilts are really nice. They are so soft. And we the kits are just like, get the kit, throw it together, bam, you're done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this one the right way the first time. Did I? <laughs> right. I hold one upside down every time I'm on. Do you? At least one. Yeah, at if least not one. More. <laughs> and this is the Rose Water Rose Ear for You Bambino Quilt Kit. That's cool. Yeah, there's some tricks to working with Miki. Like somebody said that if they, if once you cut it, if you pop it in the dryer, yes. like it gets all of the loose little fuzzies yeah. away. Yeah, you just pop it in for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. and then um, you're lint catcher will be full of it but it's better there than spread out everywhere in your house this just is... make sure to clean out your lint catcher can you hold yes. that one so you don't burn up your dryer the next yes. time yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh did you did you poke yourself yeah sorry no you're good um, no 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 and we were gonna hold them so yeah, yeah there you go it's kind of the same there's like a boy and a girl one oh. yeah or a gender non-specific you can yeah. do it however you want either gender um, but yeah, these kits will be out in January for those of you wondering about that. Yes. Um, and I see a few people asking what cuddle fabric is. Uh, cuddle is like minky. It's that super soft, like fuzzy fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, great for blankets, um, different things like that. Uh, pillows. Yeah. And these kits, of course. It's kind of like faux. Some of it looks really like faux fur. Some of it's just so soft and you have to touch it when you walk by. If you have to go like yeah. that's really soft, it's probably color Mickey. <laughs> yes. So I have a polka dotty background on oh, mine. So do I. So pretty. These are cool. These are really nice. I like the tiny little ones for when babies are real small and they do their tummy time or their floor yeah. time, you know? Tummy time. Tummy time. Never heard that. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what you call it? Tummy time? Yeah, That's what I, I call it. <laughs> I don't have kids, so. Little yeah. ones very often, but yes. I just got enough use. This is my favorite. This is my favorite one, too, I think. Oh, this is. Can you want me to hold it? There you go. Well, yeah, maybe this one's large and like Skylar size. Oh, it's this teamwork. is Skylar like size. This. this is cool. I, I, would, I, would, I would have this in my life. What's this? This is the Color Pop. <laughs> It is Fabulous Five Cuddle Kit. It is the Color Pop one. It is so rainbowy and so nice. And if I haven't said it yet, very soft. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's this. So it's cool. so fun. Very beautiful. You could probably find some non flannels and make like a doormat out of this too. That'd look pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like a bath mat or yeah, something too. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah. That would be really cute. And they make um, like the backing stuff you can put on rugs. You can make it, and mm -hmm. that would be really. You could great. also use them for bathrobes. Yeah, it's really nice. And then, for, and then. Oh, Karen on Facebook was asking, do they need batting? Um, you can do them with or without batting. All of these have batting in them. Yeah, but the cuddle is fluffy enough that if you if you want something that's a little lighter, it, it still looks good without batting. Yeah. This is Jurassic Fabulous Five Cuddle Kit. Oh, yeah. I saw this yesterday and I was like, Skylar, wouldn't you have loved this when you were a little boy? Yeah, I know my nephews would love it. Yeah. They're huge in the dinosaurs. Well, see, you could make them one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Also, I believe in the instructions for these kits, they do uh, say to use batting because um, at the beginning you like stick them down with um, batting spray. Mm. Um, what's that called? Five hundred five or like like five hundred five or basting spray. Thank you. Um, and you stick that to the batting. Uh, but I know you could do these without it. Um, and then we had a few people asking if it's easier to sew cuddle with a walking foot. Um, I believe Teresa covers that in the video she filmed with us. Um, but the most important tip she actually had for sewing it down was to do two rows of pinning. Um, 
and it's easier to see in the videos but basically you do like one row at like close to your seam and then a second row right next to that and that holds it in place um, and when I sewed it I just used my normal foot on my machine So, Krista Moser came and did some videos with us, and so we've got some of her quilts to show, and that's pretty exciting. Yes. This is the 60-degree diamond ruler that she's designed. This is the big one. There's a small version as well. Hiding, somewhere. Hiding. Hiding somewhere. Oh, found it. Um. And so for this first item, it's a little table runner with no name tag on it. Yeah, so uh, Krista, oh, Mia Moore. Yeah, Krista made this one. It's called Mia Moore. And it's using fabrics from the Rose Spectrum Fat Quarter Bundle? Yes. And oh, all of these so uh, quilts we're about to show you from Krista, they actually all have a video tutorial that's going to go along with them. Uh, a couple of them have released, but some of them are going to release uh, in 2020. Yeah. So they've done some really nice quilting inside of these little V shapes and just straight line quilting outside. And when you see it on the back, you can really kind of see that difference. It looks mm -hmm. great. Maybe you can't see it on TV, though. <laughs> Here, you can zoom in on it. You can see it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks fantastic. That looks really nice. I like these colors. Those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. right. This one is made in peace by Kristen Mosier. This is the Myanmar Table Runner. That's. It's a piece backing. Oh, this is the. Piece. Oh, yeah. I was like, isn't that the same? It is the same one. You're so right. This one has a pieced piece backing. backing. That's pretty cool though. Which in my mind makes it like a reversible two for one. Because I like both sides, it's pretty. Hmm? Oh, this so is this the quilt version of Miamor. Okay. It's not on there. Yeah, so her pattern, you yeah. can do the table runner version or the baby quilt version. I don't see the pattern on it, but I picked it up. I love the, the not the ombre, but the color yeah, transition. Yeah, the gradients. The gradient, thank yeah. you, yes. Yeah, and she breaks down in the video. Uh, she does like strip piecing to achieve that effect. Yeah. Look at how cute this piece back is. That's a great idea, just a few strips down the center. Oh, look, I got it. It is a pattern. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Table runner on the back. This quilt on the front. It's very cute. I watched I the tutorial more. for these yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, these so, are, so these are the ones that are out. Um, this is actually a uh, like a freebie she did for us to kind of get you started mm -hmm. using her um, mini 60 degree diamond ruler. Mm -hmm. So this is hexagon twinkle table runner. Yes. Krista Moser. And that, yeah, that's the it mini. This is the little one, yeah. And like she said, there's a free pattern and a tutorial on YouTube. It's got yep. this cute little pieced back. I love this grunge on here. That's pretty cool. It's like metallic, yeah. That's very festive. It's a good, good um, and I see Cindy Curl asking, what was the exact name for the table runner? It's Mi Amor. It's M-I and then space and then A-M-O-U-R? A-M-O-R. A-M-O-R. Thank you. Buffalo Lodge. There's also Ooh. a free video for this on YouTube. Yes. Um, and it also uses the little. Yes, uh, the, the mini. The mini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These little trees are so cute. I like this because it's a little more masculine looking. Mm -hmm. Am I doing it wrong? No. Okay. Is it good? Cute plaid backing. Nice white quilting. It shows up really nice. Yeah. And that buffalo check uh, pattern is kind of achieved through her use of fabrics. It's not like a it, yeah, fabric Yeah, it's not a used. print. Yeah. Yeah, she pieced it with different fabrics. Really nice. Yeah. 
And there's a table runner version. This is a tree skirt. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Tree <laughs> skirt. I was thinking tree skirt and I said table runner. You know, reading Rainbow, anybody? <laughs> you probably don't remember that. No, I do. Oh, do you? I was still, I was in school, yeah. Uh, I grew up with that too, yeah. I'm not super this is young. So cute. She's got a really nice uh, green checked binding on here that just pops that perfectly. Ooh, yeah. Is it this? It doesn't look the same as the backing, but it's really close. Maybe it is the same. Very cute. Apparently, that's my word of to today. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. <laughs> oh, Stacy Fallon said a poncho. LOL. A poncho. It's a poncho. <laughs> yes, you're right. I would it wear that totally as a poncho. It could totally be a poncho. Or if you made the center hole a little bigger, a wrap skirt. Ooh, for the holidays, yes. Oh, we can poncho. get creative. <laughs> Look at the back of the pattern. Can you see that where it's draped over that little? That tree skirt oh. is so cute. That's adorable. Oh, and I love your nails, Alva. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Supernova. I figured oh. it last night. Supernova. I know. I had it red, but the red chipped, so I just was like, I'm annoyed now. Semaphore stripes. This is gorgeous. Yeah, this quilt is amazing. I love this one. Skylar gets to do it because he's so tall. That's a big one. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Yeah, that's a big one, yeah. That's got some weight to it. Look at all those colors. Yeah. And this quilt is way easier to make than it looks, I promise. And it uses that, uh, the non-slip 60 degree diamond ruler mm -hmm. that we just had. Oh, yeah, oh. it uses the... The regular sized one, the big one. I don't even know if you can see the ruler. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming across the pool. And then for her backing, she tends to use flannel. Mm -hmm. And so they're like super soft. Yeah, and it also, anything, it, it I think anything that's fluffy, like uh, cuddle or flannel, I just think it shows the quilting just a little bit better than a standard cotton it, like, does. It more, yeah. Yeah, I love it a lot. So that was semaphore stripes. So pretty. This one makes me so happy, y'all. You don't even know. This is Krista Moser's Bumblebee Blossoms. Ooh. Oh, you're holding it? You're I could try, but oh, I'm right. five it's, foot it's, four, so. It's large. It's a big one. We're right. going to see. You ready? You're the one that went after it. I know, because it's so pretty. Yeah, no, oh, there you go. Yeah. I can hold it tight, high enough so it doesn't touch the ground. That's good. <laughs> 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 that's cool yes and for this oh, one geez. we have a video for it coming out um i believe on the 23rd or 24th of this month and she does use uh ombre fabric to say ombre blooms yeah to add to that ombre effect that is so pretty i love the ombre fabric because you can get it looks like you used a bunch of different fabrics so if you get a half a yard you get the all the way from light to dark and light again or dark to light and dark mm -hmm. again like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get so many color variations, you can make it look amazing. And I have a hardcore crush on bees. <laughs> and a pink bag. Cool pink. Salmon? Maybe salmon. salmon. Some shade along that wheel. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. I don't want to put it down, it's too pretty. <laughs> Just going to hold on to it forever. So this is Roller Coaster. Also Krista Moser. These are all Krista Mosers. This is so cute. I love this. I love her color use. Like she's just got mm -hmm. an amazing eye for color. Mm -hmm. That's not one of my strong suits. So I love it when people are able to do it. Because <laughs> I'm like, I need to take your talent and use it. Thank you. <laughs> Again with the flannel, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Roller coaster, Krista Moser, so pretty. Summer swag. This one looks interesting. Whoops. It's Breaking coaster. things. <laughs> I had that coaster sitting up there. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Again, this one looks complicated, but it's really not that difficult at all. Again, it uses that big 60 degree diamond ruler. That is amazing. This reminds me of like really old quilts. I just love this. I don't mm. know why. Oh, that's nice. This is gorgeous. The strawberry print is super cute. It looks like it'd be super hard with all the edges and stuff, but. I, I think if you just, I think just a bias. <laughs> I don't really know. A bias, as long as you have a bias binding, it should just kind of follow along with those curves pretty mm -hmm. easily. Summer swag. So pretty. Okay. All right. We're not done. some more to go. Uh, <laughs> sit for a second, though. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. sit for a second. You guys can sit for this. So. So we should be able to hold these. We should be able to hold these up. These are the Patchwork Christmas stockings. We redid, we did a blog remix. Mm -hmm. Jen from Customer Service made these adorable. Uh, somebody said Winnie the Pooh, but this one has 101 Dalmatians on it. Yeah. And this one has Dumbo. Yeah. So I don't know if those are from a Winnie the Pooh line, but these are precious. Yeah, yeah. Look one's at how Dumbo, precious. One's Dalmatians. Oh, wow. Jen made those? Jen. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. I know. Did she sew a binder clip on them? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so so there's, a, there's a story behind so, these next ones. This one has it. I made these. <laughs> I made these and uh, I was all like, I did pretty good, right? I'm happy with these. I bring them to work. I show them off. I'm like, these are great. I do like this because I'm trying to smooth it down to fold and I'm like, what is that? Y'all, I sewed a binder clip into the thing, a binder clip, not a pin, not something small, an actual honest to goodness binder clip. It's in there, it's not coming out. I don't know how I sewed it in there, pressed it, folded it, brought it to work and showed it to people and was like, didn't even realize, didn't know. And then when I figured it out, I just died laughing and I was like, see, we tell people all the time, everybody makes mistakes. It's true. We Nobody do. does anything perfectly. And I just, I'm leaving it in there. It's a Christmas surprise right. for the rest of our lives. I'm not you taking it out. You always got something in your stocking at least. That's yeah. Hey, <laughs> stocking's always stuff. That's, I'm always good because I gave myself a bond clip. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing, if it could be possibly done, I'm sure I've done it, so. <laughs> and I got teased a little and that's okay. I deserved it. <laughs> so the so colorful, uh, Fat Quarter Club is an, it every month it comes out and every month that there's a different colorway. So December's colorway is red. Mm -hmm. um, they usually ship around the 29th. So we are going to show you. Um, who made these? Sue, Sue from Sue. customer service. Hey Sue, made these uh, quilts, quilt blocks for the so colorful quilt spools. What is it called? So so colorful so spools. <laughs> this is little envelopes with heart stickers holding them shut. It's super cute. So each month in this club, it's a continuous club. It just goes on and on. And every month you get coordinated fabrics. They're not all going to be red, but it'll be like reds and some coordinatings. Sometimes it might be all the same color, but usually we throw in a couple of coordinatings because you want some pop and some change in color. Um, but it's really nice. It's a great stash building club if you're trying to build your stash or if you don't have lots of a lot of colors. It's a great way to get a lot of the colors. And real quick, we're just getting a few questions yeah. about the Kristen Moser quilts we showed. Because uh -huh. um, Stacey Fallon was asking, is there a video on Summer Swag? Uh, there is. It's coming out next year. And then Julie Stay Washburn... Tuned. Huh? Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yes, yeah, subscribe. Um, Julie Washburn was asking, does Summer Swag use Y seams? It does not. There's Which makes a, it way more appealing. Yes. Uh, she she shows in the video her technique for like making it look like it would use Y seams, but it actually doesn't. And then Teresa was saying, we really do have to get Skylar sewing. <laughs> and a few people were asking, where's Skylar's work for us to see? Yeah, we, <laughs> we, oh. we have not given up 
trying. We're constantly like, hey, Skylar, you could do this. Everybody in customer service, <laughs> we're all you, on board. I'll tell you all what I told Kim in customer service the other day. I'm in the visual stage right now. So it's all up here right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Just pre-planning. Just yeah. getting stuff done. So the Farm Girl Vintage 2, because it's Friday, that means Farm Girl Friday. Farm Girl Fridays. Oh, that's a good idea, Skylar. Yeah, Skylar, Skylar's been watching the live streams. Been watching or been on. He's yeah. been on the live streams because he's popular. That little cowboy boot is too cute. I love this book. I bought this book. Still have a lot of those books. That's so cute. I think we're on week seven now of the of the sew along. Yes. And we do have a few shout outs we wanted to do for this. Yes, yes. Let's do shout outs. Um, So this is Eider Fer Ferrero? Ferrero? Yes. Evening Star in a Faded Sky. I love the stitching that you've done in the center of that block. That is super pretty. That's very cute. Ooh, Ooh cute. that photo though. The Lucy Bird? Yeah. The block that took me 800 tries to find the fabric combination that I wanted. Worth you and I, it. we are sister quilters. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. And I That's, love the staging with the... Even 801. The bowls. With the Pyrex. Is yeah. Is it Pyrex, it looks like? I love those bowls. I had some a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Got the Stay at Home Quilter. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good name. That's a, that's a really good name. <laughs> oh, she that managed tractor. to squeeze in an extra tulip block. Nice. That tractor's really cool. Yeah. I really like that. Start with the tractor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Kay and Paul, 32, Farm Girl Friday in the nick of time. Nice. I like how her tractor has a blue stack and a blue uh, <laughs> steering wheel. Those are really mm -hmm. nice. And Boundy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. She says for farm, yeah, for farm Girl Fridays, we took my farm vintage two blocks for a country drive, Ooh. found this amazing old cart in Clunes for the locals, and had to hey, take some pictures. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Said with love. Nice. Nice name. Good yeah. job. Took them for an outdoor adventure. Oh, yeah. It looks that like looks they're by a tree or something. I like those outdoor photos. They're so fun. Mm -hmm. I got this is from Beso in 72. <laughs> it says Farm Farm Friday Block done. It's so bright. You gotta wear shades. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is a cool block. I like that. I love the bright. Whatever the fabric sitting on that design is pretty cool. I think it marbly. was stitched. I think it was stitched. That's not a uh, thing. Stitched. Stitched in. Green Groves. <laughs> That's funny. That's a... Oh. <laughs> Look, the little tractor guy. I love that. He's, 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 cookies? he's hauling acorns. Oh, acorns. He's hauling acorns. It's fall harvest. That is adorable. Sorry, guys. Green Groves, there thank you for sharing that. That was too cute. I could have looked at that little tractor guy for like another five minutes. <laughs> I made six inch evening star block cruising right along. That is a really nice block. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Oh, I didn't even see the name. Oh, oh now I'm it's sorry. gone. Wait. And reverse. I don't think it has a reverse. <laughs> <laughs> it does, but the reverse one is something different. Green Groves. That was the next one. Yeah. MGE Ward. MGE Ward. MGE Ward. Thank you. All right. Oh, there's this one. Hello. I used the 16 inch barn blocks from the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book to make pillows. I'm so happy with how they turned out. That's a Gina quilts. It does say Gina quilts. Mm -hmm. Those look amazing. Those look, those look comfy. Mm -hmm. Those look really nice. Okay. And also from the Lucy Bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, another one. Hi, Lucy Bird. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too. That's a fantastic block. Yeah, there we go. Now that's all of them. Farm Girl Vintage 2. <laughs> that sounded like the Huggies theme song. <laughs> 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 it's 
<laughs> I really, good. like, I sing my life, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that was great. I loved it. Um, let's see. We have a new YouTube member who just joined, Marisol Colway. Welcome, Marisol. Hi, Marisol. And just so you guys know, uh, we do have a YouTube member perk this week. Uh, YouTube members got a free pattern. Absolutely. We have it right here to show. Um, and that will be up until December 27th. Denise that, is like, this is the pattern everyone got for free. It's typically a paid pattern. Um, and there will be a little behind the scenes video being posted uh, over the weekend for YouTube members to see. It cuts the glare from the plastic so you yes. can see a little better. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Oh, yes. And please comment below if you are participating in Farm Girl Fridays. And if not, what are you stitching? Okay. And then Cheryl Plord was saying, is it that warm for shorts in Texas? Yes. It's going to be 70, mid to high 70s today, I think. It is, yeah. But yeah. it's been like 40s the past like two days. Yeah. I've been wearing shorts the past couple of days. Yeah. I'll wear Sky. shorts unless it's freezing. Skyler likes the cold. <laughs> um, well, it's and hot then in customer service. It's hot, yeah. Laura McLaughlin says, Elva's pixie cut is absolutely adorable. Thank you. I, I just love it. It's so easy to take care of. I can wash it, dry it, blow dry it. I'm done in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's still blue from Halloween. <laughs> Your hair is still blue from Halloween. It's not as blue. It's the blue has almost grown out of it. <laughs> almost. It's only like a little bit blue. Um, so we've got some quilt kits and backing sets. And so we're going to show you some of those. The first one is called Magnetic. We have toddler lap and queen size it comes in. Oh, <laughs> we got two, got two patterns. <laughs> Double dip on the That's pattern hilarious. here. That's because we like it so much we had to show it to you twice. I should yeah. stand up. <laughs> yeah, she want to get hidden. I'm hiding. <laughs> this is magnetic. These colors are phenomenal. What do you see the back? Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's almost like cool. splatter paint. Yeah. This is cute, and it's got some ma uh, magnetic. It's got some metallic in it. It's kind of sticky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. This was designed by Crystal, made by Den Denise, and quilted by Gina. I Cr Crystal designs a lot of the uh, cave quilts that I sew. I like what she does. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Love Ruby Star. Yeah, it's really nice. Those colors are phenomenal. This next one is called Intergalactic. Designed by Crystal. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> we have two of this one too. Doubling up on all these patterns. Because we because we love them, we're excited about them. That's why. Yes. So this was also designed by Crystal Stahl. Oh, oh I love this. Oh, one. look at that. This one's huge. It is the way big. I need a step ladder, Skyler. I actually need to go like this. This side of hold on. There you go. Oh, that's better. Where's the paper? Right oh, there. That's so cool. It was designed by Crystal, quilted made by, by Crystal. Made by Crystal. Go, Crystal. Yeah, made by Crystal, quilted by Gina. Wow. This whole splatter paint looking fabric that she used as her background. Mm -hmm. It's got these like the kitties. Kitty tiger. Meow. <laughs> I did that and then I thought, I just meowed in front of like all of y'all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Vibrations. The design is from Jocelyn, made by Kate, quilted by Mike. It says designed, inspired by Peach. Yes. Inspired by Peach. Go Peach. Shout out to Peach. Everybody I knows. In the chat. I'm a fan of Peaches. Hi Peach. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at that. I think we're sideways again. This yes, but I think that's okay for now. Okay. This is it's so big. Large. <laughs> it's like really big. That is gorgeous. Yes. So this um, is also part of our AGS Stitch series on YouTube. Uh, there is a free pattern to this and the free video to show you how to build the block. I love that. That is amazing. Yes. And you guys might have said it, but this was made by Kate. 
Yeah. Yeah. Designed by Jocelyn. Very nice. Yes. Picking up all the good vibrations. Last one, we have Jelly Glazed Hearts. Designed by Jocelyn, quilted by Mike, made by Jen and customer service. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Ta-da. So this one is part of our Shortcut Quilt series on YouTube. Uh, free pattern, free video, and you can change up the colors and make it for any holiday. This is Jelly Glazed Hearts. Yes. Look at this backing. Super cute. It was really cute. It's like bunting of hearts. It's adorable. Yeah. I believe the fabric collection's Llama Love. Okay. No, no, she's got the paper. It doesn't say. But it has llamas on it, so it's a really good bed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this llama has on glasses that are heart shaped. <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, oh, now you, you, I see it, you yeah. didn't get the cool one on your side. I got the cool one on my side. I guess not. These are adorable. I look at the quilting as hearts, too. Yes, it is confirmed. It is Llama Love. Yay, Llama Love. I think I might have to make something out of Llama Love. That's cute. That would make a cute little purse. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the llama. Llamas, slaws, and the hedgehogs. Oh. So. Thank you, guys. Excellent oh. modeling today, guys. <laughs> All right, okay. So Melinda Sawyer was asking, was Crystal's Ruby Star Quilt the one for the Fat Quarter Club? Huh. Not we will sure. look into it. We are not Call sure. customer service. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. You. We are checking right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then uh, Christine Miller had commented that today she's working on some fat, uh, fabric microwavable bowls. And we actually have a tutorial coming out for that today. That's so awesome. That's, that's crazy, Christine. We're totally on the same page. I actually uh, was thinking about making some of those for Christmas gifts because I'm behind and I need to do stuff. Oh, and then the answer to uh, Melinda's question is um, that it is a standalone pattern. It is not part of the Fat Quarter Club. Oh. Okay. And then oh. Suzanne McCallan was asking, where and how do you access the free pattern, meaning the one we showed for the YouTube members, the good uh, tidings one? And then that is actually for our, we have a paid YouTube membership. It's kind of like a Patreon where you get like extra perks. Um, you're not missing out on anything if you don't join, mm -hmm. uh, but it is uh, like you get a free pattern like mm -hmm. this week. And uh, I believe we posted directions on how to join if you're interested in that. Yeah. Uh, Teresa said, love your top, Elva. Thank you. And that. Terry from customer service gave it to me. I love it. Thank you. Okay. And then uh, Raphael Guy had been asking, what fabric collection was used for the blue and white quilts? Do we know? I believe it was multiple I fabric collections. I do think it was multiple fabric collections. I don't think it specifies. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. I'm not finding the information. Whatever works for you. <laughs> Maybe she pulled from her stash. Some of these are. Yeah, I believe some of them were like stash. Well. Yeah. All right, and yeah, feel free to guys uh, ask any questions uh, for Elva and Skylar here. We are happy to help. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with my own question. What are you guys doing for the holidays? Uh, me and Morgan are going back to Dallas because that's where our family is. Ooh. And just hanging out with her family, my family, and enjoying the time off. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. What are you doing? I'll also be headed up Dallas Way where my sister lives oh. with her family, my niece Emma. And we are going to hang out as a family. We're also going to try to give back by going either to... Um, take food to nursing homes and stuff and visit with people or um, 
maybe to homeless shelters or, or food banks or something. We're just going to get together as a family and see what we can do to make somebody else's life a little bit better. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's my sister's idea. She's a, an amazing individual. Oh, yeah. wow. I know Kimberly does something like that around the holidays with her family too. Yeah. I think more and more families are, I think we're, we're kind of going that way. People are focusing more on helping other people and it's really a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Just like make a wish you guys. So, so amazing how much you guys have given. It's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, Lisa Brown was asking, Llama Love may need to become part of my stash. When will it be available? <laughs> it's available now. Just get online and buy. Yes. Yeah. We have it a cool cute. kit available for that. It is um, really cute. Yes. As well as just the fabric collection itself is available. Uh, and then Morgan Watson was saying, oh, Skylar's hair is cute too. A little wild, but still cute. Thanks, babe. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> And then Joan Jackson says, will Summer Swag come in a kit? No, we're not no. going to have a kit for Summer Swag. Unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's super cute, though. You should buy all the stuff and make it. Yes. And in the video, we do tell you, like, <laughs> what fabrics we did use that are similar to it. Mm -hmm. um, so you can buy the fabrics. Uh, Gwen Smith is asking, how long has Elva been sewing? I, let's see. I'm fixing to have been here eight years, so about six years I've been sewing. I did not know how to sew when I started working here. Oh, no. wow. Uh, but yeah, so I, I love it. It's awesome, and then you have stuff, and I sleep under a quilt I, for like the last five years that I quilted in hand, like hand quilted. Wow. And uh, I wash, throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer. Don't hate me. <laughs> and I love it, and I feel loved when I sleep under it, and I don't. I hope that the people I give my quilts to feel the same way. And then April Jackson has a very good eye. She said, is there a tutorial for the wreath on the wall coming? Love y'all and thanks for going live for us. So actually the wreath you see on the wall and the two barn blocks next to it, um, we did these like DIY holiday related tutorials. So the barn block one came out already. The wreath one, we have a tutorial for that coming this Saturday. Um, super cute, easy and fun tutorial to do with the family. Um, and then actually Skylar on your right, there is a little bowl cozy. It's the one I was talking about earlier. Uh, there's also a tutorial coming out for this today to make microwavable bowl cozies. Oh, wow. Also you know, super so easy and fun. You can't touch it. So you can just like, yeah. So you like put your bowl in it, stick it in the microwave. And then when you take it out, you can just grab your hot bowl. Yeah. Oh, smart. Yeah. yeah. It was really smart. Those are really nice to have. We're going to make some of these, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a small and easy project for you to do, Yeah, sir. I was like, this would be a great starting point, Morgan Skyler. just said he wants to learn how to sew that bowl cover. I don't think those are my exact words. <laughs> that's what I heard. Um, and <laughs> what projects are you guys currently working on? What, car what projects are you currently working on, Skylar? Uh, putting up all our Christmas decorations. I have not done that yet. <laughs> I have like one Christmas decoration up. And trying to hide all the Christmas presents from Morgan when they get dropped off. Does she find them? I mean, I tell her where they are, I just tell her not to look. It's just, I mean, if she wants to ruin her surprise, then she can ruin her surprise. <laughs> I mean, the ball's in her court. Because <laughs> if I told her I just hid the presents, she'd probably just go looking for them. That's until what she I would finds do. Them. <laughs> so I tell her where to hide them and what they're in. And if she wants to ruin her surprise when she opens them, then it's her choice. <laughs> Fair enough. That's I don't hilarious. know if she has my presents, and I have no idea what she got me. Mm -hmm. She already guessed three out of the four presents I got her, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's why I'm not allowed any hints, because I will guess a gift every time. Yeah. If you can't tell me anything. Yes. I am sewing um, the next Cave Quilt that's coming out with the Cave Quarterly Fan Club. Kind of want to say it come out in February. It's every quarter, so February, June, something like that. March. I don't remember the exact months, but um, I'm doing that, and then I'm also uh, working on a quilt for Denny. I'm going to make him one. Ooh. Um, I was going to try to have it done by Christmas. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but it's definitely in the works. He's really tall. He's tall like Skylar. Yeah, y'all don't know Denny, but me and Denny look basically alike. They look and almost like brothers. twins. Uh -huh. Like, Yeah, they're not related. <laughs> not related at all. <laughs> but he wants it extra long so that it covers all of him, and so that's what I'm going to do. 
All right, and Pat Bro asked me if I could show more of the Christmas tree gladly. So I'm going to pan over there. And then some of these ornaments are cross-stitch ornaments that uh, Kimberly and Denise made. We do have tutorials for those on our floss tube channel, not on this quilting channel. And then the other ornaments you'll see on there are like those fabric covered ones. We have a tutorial that we, uh, Kimberly did for us, I believe it released yesterday or the day before. Um, they're super quick and easy. Cody came up with the idea and we just had to film it. And that's how we made those. They look really cute. Yes. So that's our tree. I like this one a lot. Fa -la -la. All right, and Angela uh, Bulbeck says, Elva, what fabric project do you recommend for my daughter who is a huge sloth lover? Is there a fabric or something besides Elizabeth Hartman? I would have to do some research into that. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. I, I want to say we have some sloth fabric. But I'm not sure about patterns. I know we have the one sloth by Elizabeth Hartman, but I don't know if we have any other sloth patterns. There might be some in the cuddle. Like a sloth fabric? Yeah. In like the Shannon cuddles. Maybe. Since they have a bunch of different animals. Yeah. But it might not be the only thing on there. Like yeah. There might be other animals with the sloth on it. If you want to send me an email, um, then I can try to find it for you or send it to customer service, service at fatquartershop.com. Um, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, we are still a little behind on our correspondence, but uh, you know we answer emails in the order that they're received, and we do our best to get to you as quick as we can. All right. um, um, and then, oh, it looks like uh, somebody did post a link to different uh, sloth uh, fabric oh, in the thank comments. You. Thank, thank you. you for that. <laughs> and then we do have a new <laughs> YouTube member, Linda Prather. Welcome, Linda. Hi, Linda. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to the family. And yes, YouTube members, like I said, get that free pattern and there'll be a special video, behind the scenes video that, um, it's not a tutorial or anything, it's just like how something was made here, behind the scenes, coming up next week. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Deborah Henderson was asking, Lily, how did your Christmas tree come out? It actually came out very well. Uh, I ended up following the tutorial we did for the uh, layer cake ornaments here. And those are my ornaments. I don't have a picture right now, but I will have one for next week. That's awesome. So we do have a coupon code for uh, live stream for today. So if it is gift guide 30, and the terms, it's 30% off of um, items that are on our gift guide list. You can just go on to the, the website and click the gift guide list and those are all like 30% off. Mm -hmm. um, there are some terms and conditions. So um, not, you know, it doesn't apply to things that are already on sale or gift certificates, pre-orders and clubs. When does it end? When does it never ends? No. <laughs> <laughs> it ends the 15th of December. Um, at 11.59 p.m., so just before midnight, that's a Sunday. That's this Sunday. That's this yes. Sunday. Yep. It's a short sale, but if all of you caught the live stream and were able to watch before Sunday the 15th, at 1.59 p.m., you guys are in. I, d I don't know how it's the middle of December already. I know, right? I am so unprepared. Yes. <laughs> huh? I have done no gift shopping. Oh, yes. Comment and below if you've already shopped for gifts. Yeah, and then yeah. I need to I need to figure out a way to do that better next year because every year I'm like I'm so far behind. <laughs> She's gonna shop online. And Elva, did you make any of your presents? Like, are you giving any made gifts? I am giving made gifts. I cannot say what it is because if they're watching, they'll know it's for them. Ooh. And so Ooh. Um, if so you know you me are. and you're getting gifts from me, maybe it'll be handmade. Ooh. Whoever you are. Whoever you are. Yes. You're probably getting a handmade gift from them. Maybe. Not everybody's getting a handmade gift. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> That's hard to do. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. But I try to, you know, like if you got a handmade gift last year, Maybe you don't get one this year. Maybe <laughs> somebody else gets one this Spread year. Spread the joy. Are you making yeah. a handmade gift for the white elephant in customer service? Are you getting something? I honestly hadn't put much thought into it, so I'll probably do both. <laughs> Fair enough. I can throw a, a tote bag together in about an hour or so, 
And so I like to, to put a, a handmade tote bag and then use that as my gift bag for whatever I give. So then even though it, I might buy the gift, they're still getting a little something handmade. How early do you start making your gifts? Now? I, 12 days. Yeah, Denise I, um, asked how early she starts in making her gifts. Well, I'm a weird because I'm not a good gift giver, but I, I like to like, so if I see something and I, and I think you would like it, I will make it and give it to you in November, December or whatever. And then when it's Christmas time, I'm like, I, I have no idea what to give for gifts because out the year, as I find things I think people will like, I just yeah. give it to them. Yeah. You gotta do what Morgan does. She <laughs> just holds on to them till Christmas. Like we got stuff stacked up in the house. But it's all going to be gone after Christmas. That's what sure. I've had to start doing. Not to that extent yet, but, like, I've started, like, most of my gifts came from things I made, like, in June mm -hmm. or, like, prior. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be a sale going on somewhere, or she'll see something, and she'll be like, that'll be a good gift. And then it'll sit in our house for six months, and then Christmas comes around, and someone gets it. See, I'm too <laughs> excited to do it. When I find something that I'm like, <gasps> Denise would love this, then I have to buy it and give it to you right then and be like, yeah. I found this for you. I do that too. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like a kid. I have no self-control. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm giving away four handmade gifts too. I just like bought the fabric and I'm making them. Uh, they're like little uh, panel quilts for my boyfriend's nephews. And then uh, if you guys saw the eight karat quilt along that we did, I made one of the samples for that. And my boyfriend's sister is getting that. I'm counting on her not watching this live stream and knowing what that is. Yeah, she's getting that because um, I felt like it matched her personality. And I'm also making a similar quilt for my boyfriend's mom. Wow. Yeah. I'm actually using the quilt as you go method by Jara Brandvig. Which is really, really nice. fast. Yeah. yeah. Really All fast. All right. Okay. And then Linda Gillespie was asking, Elva, do you cross stitch? I do. I'm learning. Terry from customer service is really, really, really good. And uh, she's helping me when I get confused, but I've gotten a lot better. I just finished, I had started the Country Cottage one by Lori Holt. And then I stopped that to do a wedding gift for a friend of mine. She got married. So I did her name and her husband's name and the date they got married. And then I did like a, a stitched border all the way around it, put it in a frame. Uh, so now that that's done, now I can go back to working on the country cottage again, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And I feel like, because I had bought some cross stitch patterns from Not Us, or Not, you know, Not Us, and um, I got really confused. Like, I found the directions really, really hard. I kept, I couldn't quite figure out what I was doing. So then somebody suggested that I try one of, like, the Lori Holt patterns because they're a lot easier and clearer. And so I haven't gotten lost. I haven't put it down in frustration. And so I feel like it's really helping me like figure out how to do it so that I will be able to advance to something a little more complicated, but I like it a lot. It's soothing, peaceful. I like sitting and stitching. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, we do, sorry, there's a lot of comments coming in. I'm trying to read them all. Uh, Fat Quarter Shop, oh, Fat Quarter Shop says, welcome Suzanne McCallan. We got a new YouTube member. Hi Suzanne. Hi, welcome Suzanne. Skylar and I were making a joke because this is Friday the 13th and the last time we were on here it's also Friday the 13th so we were like every Friday the 13th should be Skylar all the day yes <laughs> the next one is in March I believe I so think I only remember because I haven't done right. this one <laughs> all right oh and thanks for everyone saying uh go Lily yes thank you I appreciate that about a year ago I'd never made a quilt so we've come a long way oh, wow. yeah. you can do it Skylar <laughs> yeah you a really year can. from now you could be doing doing it all right. Uh, we just love you guys so much. I hope yeah. you know that. If you guys have any last questions, feel free to ask them. And don't forget about the coupon code for live stream watchers today, Gift Guide 30. Yes, we do have a few more shout outs to do here while you guys get your last questions in. Uh, the first one is from our Perfect Five people that have been sewing along. This is Quilt. from Quilter Pat Sloan. Hi, Pat Sloan. Oh. If you love photography, you'll know the golden hour makes your photos magical. I think the quilt also makes the photo magical. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really nice. I like that. Uh, is that navy background? Like yeah, a dark. Like I a like that a lot. Deep blue. Oh, how full and pretty that is. Oh, that's the perfect fo Look at that. That's amazing. That's I Anne Marie Mikowski. And Marie Mikowski. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I have a thing with my contacts where there's like a certain I just can't read anything. No, so. you're good. These are this is also small print. Michelle Olajar. That's a, that's cool. That's really pretty. Mm-hmm. She's almost done. She's almost done. Ooh, look at all those bright colors. Absolutely. I had to remake the Bazil cookie block. Very nice. Those colors are great. Oh, how That's pretty. Cool. She's got her top done. This is Leona IB54. That's really nice. Cool. Okay. Culture cat slow. There we go. And then we also had uh, some people sew along with our half yard wreath wall hanging. Um, we, we have this quilt hanging in customer service on the wall right now. It is so nice. And I just noticed it yesterday. <laughs> oh, I can't see that name. Christina Binder Bencone. I did my best, Christina. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's cute. Cool. I love the staging with the little teddy bear. I love teddy bear so much. And that's adorable with those cute little trees too. Everything mm -hmm. ties together so nicely. Oh, she put Merry Christmas, finish my Christmas Ooh. wreath. FMQ with small stippling. I love how it turned out. I love how it turned out too, especially the Merry Christmas in the middle. That looks so good. That looks see her name. Diane Sanders. Huh. Stacy Fleming. That's cool. <laughs> I think I'm now addicted to tear away quilting paper. <laughs> I love that. Mm -hmm. Annika Sewing Corner. Huh? Christmas tree wall hanging made from free pattern by Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, she half the measurement so it finishes at 26 by 26. That's smart. And then look, her bow is like a, is it applique down? It looks like it is. That is really really cute yeah because in our tutorial we just have you make a bow and like tie it and add it so it's like three-dimensional mm -hmm. but that's a good alternative yeah. and the fact that it's smaller that would be cute hanging on a door yeah mm. oh hang on is that all of them yeah i believe that is all of them all right you guys Ooh. uh and okay melanie call was asking do you have a favorite fabric collection uh, I think one of my favorites is Del Luna by uh, Tula Pink. Yes. Yeah. I think my newest favorite is Chelsea, but I can't remember who makes it right now. It's the one that looks like watercolors. It's so. It's really beautiful. Yeah, Denise is finding out. Yeah. Um, and then Gwen Smith said, "So Lily, I want to hear how that quilt as you go method works for you. You should show and talk about that in a future show. Love Jared's fabrics. Oh yeah, we can totally talk about that later. Have you ever done it, Elva? Quilt as you go. I haven't yeah. done that particular method, but I have done quilt as you go. Okay. And I did really like it. Mm -hmm. um, the method I, I don't I don't the one I was doing where I was doing ten inch squares where you did the top." The, the block on top and the batting and the backing all simultaneously. You quilted mm -hmm. it and then you just join them together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Join the squares together. Um, and and I really liked it. It came out fantastic. So Stephanie Ryan for Robert Kaufman is who did Chelsea. Okay. It looks like watercolor painting and it is so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, the one I followed with Jarrah's uh, uses jelly rolls and it's so similar to the same way you would do the cuddle quilts. Mm -hmm. It sounds weird, but it's because you just do the strip and then sew the next strip on, flip it over, mm -hmm. sew the next strip on, flip it over, and that's exactly what you do with the cuddle quilts, quilt kits as well. Um, so they're all, like my brain works really well with that method. Yeah. So I love it. Uh, all right, guys. I think that's all the questions I'm seeing at the moment. If you have any more, feel free to ask them in the comments uh, after the fact, and we will get to them there. Uh, thank you so much for Elva and Skylar for covering for us. Confetti can for you guys. You guys are so good. <laughs> Everyone's saying you guys did such a great job. And oh, thanks, we'll see you all next week. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, Bye. look down below if you have any questions. Yes, and please subscribe. Thank oh, yeah, you. click yeah. that like button. Yes. <laughs>